Loveland, Colorado is rich in history and there are many historical sites bringing the past alive and helping us understand the area's early homesteaders. People can visit many interesting sites in Loveland uh, and, and in the region. And I think many of them don't know that they're interested in, in it until they actually get a little taste of history. Local history is especially interesting. There's the historic home tour. May is National Historic Preservation Month. And uh, we have an annual home tour, typically the first Saturday in May, that showcases the many wonderful old homes in Loveland. That's a very popular tour. We also have a vintage baseball game annually, which the um, gentleman from the CVBBA, which is Colorado Vintage Baseball Association, uh, baseball was two words then. Uh, they play in the old time uniforms and they use the rules of the, of the 1860s for this baseball game. And that's at the fairgrounds park. Another place to see would be Timberlane Farm, which is a private farm museum. At the Timberlane Farm Museum, they showcase farming techniques of the four generations that owned the farm. It is one of the Loveland's pioneer families, the Osbournes, and we're so happy to have it preserved and up and running. Many, many school children go out there to visit the animals, do crafts, see the two old homes that were, they were restored, and the public, of course, can go any day. They're open all year round. One of the most fun things that people can visit and do and experience themselves in Loveland is to celebrate Loveland's huge cherry industry that went for nearly a century and involved nearly every Lovelander every July, as well as many, many migrant workers who came into the area to help harvest the cherries. It was a very huge industry. And we have a cherry pie festival. It's an annual thing usually held uh, towards the end of June. They block off the street uh, at the Loveland Museum on Fifth Street and you can purchase delicious cherry pie and ice cream and listen to music, sit in the shade, visit with everybody. It's wonderful. And there is a good slideshow that I give about the cherry industry itself. The Milner Schwartz house is named for the two families that lived there the longest. Milner was the family who produced our first school teacher, Sarah Milner, and one of our elementary schools is named after her. They homesteaded along the Thompson River, and which is now Old Fairgrounds Park. It was Larimer County Fairgrounds, now it's turned into a very nice park, which is a wonderful place to visit all by itself. The house itself is, has um, three layers of brick, very sturdy built, they were masons, the Milners. The city is leasing it to Loveland Historical Society, who is in the process of preserving and restoring it. There are many obvious and some less obvious historical things to see in Loveland and the region around. One would be the big old huge building downtown, which is Loveland's old feed and grain. It's gone through many reincarnations and uh, it hasn't been used as a feed and grain for many years, but it is being saved. Novo Restoration has gone through to save it and they're working with Art Space to make it a living and working space for artists, local artists. That's wonderful to see it saved. Another one is the uh, Great Western Sugar Factory on the uh, east side of town. Not much of it remains, but the silos are still there. And of course, it was very important to Loveland's industry. It totally changed agriculture when sugar beets became a very popular crop to grow. Bill Reed High School is named after an important Lovelander. There are some buildings downtown that have importance. The Pulliam Building is a community building. The Pulliam family built during the Depression and gave a lot of people some work to put food on their table. My passion for, for history has to do with historic preservation, and I think it's really important that we keep and retain um, the history of our places that were important in that period of time and the things that um, we can show our children and that reflect on our past. And so I think for that reason, there are properties and buildings in Loveland that, that are important to us as residents. I love downtown, and there's a number of reasons I like downtown. One is the architecture. I love to go and walk up and down the streets and see the things that are, that the architecture that I haven't seen before, things that are new, um, things that I probably passed a dozen times and never seen before. I love the downtown restaurants. Uh, they bring some unique qualities to it that, of things that you don't find in other places of Loveland. I also um, enjoy the shops. I think the shops are a unique variety. They have gifts that you may not find someplace else. 
I'm one of those people who has, have a bicycle and a cruiser and I love to ride through the downtown Loveland areas. Uh, the old churches, the old grocery stores, the old houses. We actually have two historic districts in Loveland, one on 5th Street and one on 4th. You would find houses from the Victorian era, houses that are from the, the early 1900s, bungalows, uh, four squares, parks. There's plenty to do in those areas just to take the time to walk up and down the streets and, and see what you can find. But Loveland is um, actually blessed to have so many historical homes and so many historical properties still standing. Outside of downtown Loveland and north of our absolutely gorgeous lake, we have what we call the Lone Tree School, which is a very, very small schoolhouse from the late 1800s, early 1900s. It actually has uh, old desks still in it, the chalkboard still up on the wall. And uh, it's a great place to, to go up to North Park and look in the windows and, and get an idea of what it would have been like to try to envision yourself as a, as a school attendee, as a student during those periods of time. Another great place is City Hall. City Hall is located in the Washington School, and the Washington School was an old schoolhouse, and it's been completely rehabilitated uh, to facilitate our city council chambers and some city offices, and then they've built an annex to it that, that matches it or is complementary. And the school has lots and lots of history, and in the lobby of the school, they actually have some glass cases with some old memorabilia from when the school was actually open, including a school bell that was returned um, to the city. Historic preservation is alive and well in Loveland. Uh, since 2003, we have been able to come up with more than $2.3 million uh, to contribute to uh, historic uh, preservation of churches and downtowns and, and a lot of the structures that exist in our historic downtown area.